So today I'm going to cover Cherry Moya. It is also known as Chiri Moya or Chiri Muya. And its uh, scientific name is Anona Cherry Mola. It is an edible fruit bearing species of the genus Anona. Soursop is another fruit in the Anona species. It is debatable where this fruit originated from. Some say it's from Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Chile and spread. Others say it comes from Central America, the Andes, because wild relatives of the cherry moya are found there. It is grown in tropical areas and thrives in areas of high altitude. The fruit is white and creamy on the inside and is green on the outside and is conical or heart shaped and the skin looks like scales. The fruit ripens around spring. When ripe, the skin gives a bit when pressed. It can be picked and allowed to ripen at room temperature. Cherry Moya tastes tropical. It's a mixture, um, as said previously, uh, by others as tasting like pear, a mixture of pear, banana, papaya, pineapple, peach, and strawberry. It's given the name custard apple for this reason. It can be scooped out with the spoon. You do not allow the fruit to brown too much on the outside or it, it may ferment on the inside and rendering it inedible. It has multiple black, hard, inedible seeds inside and it's lined up reminiscent of how seeds line up for pawpaws. The hybrid of cherry moya is known as atamoya. It is a delicate perishable fruit that's easily damaged and browns easily. It is a high it is high in vitamin B6, vitamin C and riboflavin. There are several issues with pollination. The flowers are hermaphroditic and short-lived. The flowers start off as female and change to male within hours. Bees cannot pollinate flowers because they're too big to fit into the blossoms. The suspected pollinator is a small beetle, but it is probably native to Central America. In nature, wind helps disperse the pollen from large, large trees in, their, in the wild. Gardeners find success in hand pollination with a paintbrush. Although this is a lot of work, even maybe too much for a permaculture gardener, it's worth the work for the taste. Mark Twain has said it's the best tasting fruit in the world.